Welcome to Duke OBGYN. We're so glad that you're interested in our program. Here we are today in front of Baker House, which is part of the Duke University Medical Center campus and has been the home of Duke OBGYN since the 1930s. When you come here to train, you will spend most of your time at the Duke University Hospital. But residents also go to Duke Regional Hospital, which is our county hospital in Durham County, as well as Duke Raleigh Hospital in Raleigh, and will spend time at the Durham VA, which is right across the street from Duke University Hospital. Many cities have an academic medical center and a county hospital. Duke University Hospital and Duke Health serve both roles, and that really provides a rich training environment for the residents. So here at Duke OBGYN, we are hoping to train the next leaders in our field. Now to be clear, we recognize that that may look different for all of our trainees. And so here, we are not trying to mold you into a cookie cutter of the type of OB we want to train, but really hoping to help you develop and grow into the OBGYN of your choosing that's going to go on and become a leader, whether it's in research, whether it's on national organization, advocacy, or a leader in your community. We really truly hope for you to become the type of OBGYN that will be successful, be happy, and go on to serve the patients in our community. You may be perfect for our program if you're someone who is kind, who is gracious, takes care of patients like you would take care of your friends or family. That's what we're looking for. If you are someone who's passionate about community service and community engagement, then this is the place for you. We have our very own community engagement and health equity specialist who allows us to assess what the community needs and allows us to better serve the people in Durham. One of the things that's probably my favorite part of being here in academics is the opportunity to help learners in their simulation training. And we have quite an extensive array of opportunities for simulation here at Duke, both on the GYN and obstetric side. Um, so everything from laparoscopic skills, robotic console trainers, laceration repair, we do it all. And it's probably one of my, my most favorite parts of being here in education. Labor and delivery is a place, of course, where women come to have their babies, but it's more than just about having a baby. It's about creating a family and becoming a mother. Um, the moment of delivery is, you know, one of the most powerful moments in a human being's life. You know, when a new life enters this world and up on labor and delivery, we all are very privileged to be part of that process. Um, we're there to support each other through the hard days of residency, through the good days of residency, through the hard days of life, and through the really special days of life. And that's something that's really unique about our department, and I think what sets our residency program and our department apart from other residencies across the country. And it's definitely a reason you should think about Duke. Uh, one of my most memorable teaching or student experiences um, was when I was able to sit down with a medical student who was on the service with me and got to really sit down and just talk about our day and answer any questions. Um, I think just in general, um, sometimes medical students feel like they don't want to say the wrong thing or ask the wrong question. I feel like having that time where it's just a student or resident provides a really unique experience where we kind of serve as the bridge. We were just students and we can kind of know what it feels like and answer questions in a safe space. Regardless of where you find yourself in the world of OBGYN at the end of your training, there are a few core foundational principles that we hope to have instilled in our trainees during your four years at Duke. And one of those is this idea of being a kind consultant. That even when you get a consult from the emergency department at 2 a.m., regardless of how big or small the question may be, treating that consulting service with kindness and grace and recognizing that on the other end of that telephone call is a patient who needs your help. Starting residency is extremely difficult. Everything is new all day, every day, and it can be really overwhelming, but um, I have absolutely never felt alone. I think between co-residents and attendings, there's always somebody to go to for advice, both on medical advice and just personal things. Welcome to Duke. I'm sorry that it has to be a virtual welcome instead of an in-person welcome. I know that the in-person visit is kind of one of the main things that sold me on the program in the first place. And in fact, I loved the in-person visit enough that I came back for a second look in January. I know that that path to ending up here is probably 
not feasible for most people, but hopefully with this video and with email and with other forms of communication, we can approximate the experience of what it would be like. You might be thinking when you come to residency about how am I going to manage my work life with my family life at home and how am I going to be able to, to balance those two things. For me, it's been really a smooth transition to have a family during residency. It's been really um, easy to be able to work and go home and still spend time with my family and have good quality time with them. Coming into residency, I knew that eventually when I became a practicing attending that I would still want to incorporate teaching into my practice. And so we're able to work with wonderful medical students who come from diverse backgrounds. Um, they are very proactive and very involved in their learning. And so we've had the opportunity to teach them and to see their growth. And it's very rewarding to see that you play a part in their learning. The Duke OBGYN residency program really trained you to be a well-rounded obstetrician and gynecologist and regardless of where you decide to practice, or whether it's someone's prenatal care, a routine health visit, or someone looking for a complex surgery that, that needs to get taken care of. The Duke OBGYN residency program really has set me up to be a very confident OBGYN. So sometimes we talk about hashtag resident life. Um, I think the resident life is about small moments, whether it's seeing your co-resident you haven't seen in a while, passing through the halls and having an encouraging moment, um, or having a slice of cheese with your glass of coffee for breakfast. Um, I think it's all about taking it one day at a time and enjoying the small things in the big picture. When I was going through the interview process, what excited me the most about Duke was the opportunity to be in such a great academic training facility and also have the opportunity to take care of underserved women during my training. The fact that we have a rotation where we can travel to the health departments, we're able to go to our Duke Regional Hospital, which is our smaller community hospital, was very, very attractive to me and in line with my goals to take care of uh, underserved women. Duke has a long standing history of being committed to diversity, inclusion, and excellence in the care that we provide to all of the patients that we're privileged to serve. To that end, we want to make sure that our trainees reflect the diversity of the population that we serve. And so we're very intentional about recruiting diverse talent. And that diversity takes on many different forms. It's diversity in terms of racial and ethnic background. It's also diversity in terms of demographic background. We want people from across the country who are bringing fresh perspectives and new ideas to the really challenging problems that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Subspecialties allow a physician in OBGYN to really focus on a specific niche or a specific area, and that really allows our residents to get the full breadth and experience of what each subspecialty is like. Not only do they rotate on all of the subspecialties pretty early on throughout their residency, but they also get to see what fellows do, how fellows interact, um, both with attendings and with other trainees like residents and medical students. Um, they have the opportunity to participate in research with those different subspecialties, um, and they have access to national leaders in the respective fields. The resident experience in maternal fetal medicine at Duke is unique for a couple reasons. The first reason is that our labor and delivery is incredibly high acuity. We have really, really sick moms, really, really sick babies, and really, really sick pregnancies. And the multidisciplinary team that we've put together between midwives, nurse practitioners, maternal fetal medicine specialists, residents, our nursing staff, all work together to help residents learn how to take excellent care of these incredibly complex patients. The beauty of training at Duke is that we have a little bit of everything. Um, and there are specialties, faculty members, and mentors that all um, can fit the needs um, and your interests. And so I would recommend just staying open-minded and taking advantage of the diversity of opportunities that we have at Duke, um, especially in our department. And together, we can all guide you to making the best choice for your career and for your lifestyle. So it was early in my second year of residency that I had this moment where I knew that I would uh, be applying for reproductive endocrinology and infertility as my subspecialty. And I expressed some interest in the field and immediately was just greeted with um, a warm welcome by the REI division at Duke. Um, research opportunities, mentoring opportunities, um, and as soon as I had that initial introduction, I knew that it was the place for me. 
In addition to the new cancer center that opened about eight years ago, we also got a brand new medical school building, a brand new uh, hospital tower, and nursing school. So it really has been transformational for the entire campus. We really have a national and international uh, faculty and student body, and it really is a very stimulating and exciting place to live and work. We know that in order to continue to provide the highest level of care to a diverse patient population, that requires intentionality in terms of our research and our research questions as well. Duke has been privileged to be um, honored by the NIH with funding to fund the REACH Equity Center. Um, and the REACH Equity Center is really focused on diversity, disparities, and inclusion research. The medical school is known for its research strength, and that certainly carries across the residency program. And we offer a very strong research curriculum that starts from day one. So residents can come in having had research experience and wanted to continue that, or they can come in not knowing anything about research, and we're able to meet them where they are and sort of help them develop their skills. The Duke Global Health Institute has um, priority partnership locations um, or organized centers in about 12 countries around the world. And within OBGYN, we have a focus on um, three countries in East Africa. I am the director of the Center for Global Reproductive Health, so I have worked with residents on research programs in Uganda and Kenya. There are opportunities to work with additional faculty across East Africa um, who work in um, menstrual hygiene, in HIV prevention, in um, adolescence um, and family planning, and, very, and a variety of other issues. Residents have experience in the Ryan Clinic during both their second and third years as part of the formal rotation in the Family Planning Clinic. They also get exposure in the first year, in particular with learning about contraception and placing long-acting reversible contraceptive devices. So we have really robust training in contraception and abortion care, and we're really proud of that and think it's really, really important for our residents. The ever-changing landscape of abortion care in the United States, we remain fully committed to making sure that our residents have access to fully comprehensive reproductive health care and full abortion care training. Um, well, one of the things I love about Durham is it's so affordable. So you can actually live here and have a lot more space. Um, and then there's just an ease of living here, I think. You know, you can hop in your car and go to all the stores you need to go to. You can live close to the hospital. And then there's so much green space. So it's really great to be able to go hiking when you want, go to parks. It's very pet friendly. I am a dog person and an outdoor person. If you want to go on a hike on the weekends, you can. If you want to go to a cultural event um, in close to here, you can as well. So there's just a great variety of things to do. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Duke OBGYN. I hope that you see why we think it's such a special place. I really look forward to meeting many of you on your interview day.